So, the triangle mid segment theory, this is what it entails. Triangle mid segment theory says, let's draw a triangle, let's have our triangle. So, if this is the midpoint, let's say this triangle A, B, and C, then this is the midpoint of this line segment, you can call it C, and this is D, sorry. Let's say this is D. And this is also the midpoint of this segment. You can call it E. So we're drawing it. Okay, so this side is congruent to this side. This side is also congruent to this side. Now, what triangle mid-segment theory says is that it said if D and E are midpoint midpoint of A B sorry by segment A and segment C B okay yes if they are the midpoint okay respect then okay D, E must be parallel to AC. Okay? So, if they are the midpoint of these two line segments, definitely this, um, this line segment will also be parallel to this line segment. Then, it also says, and this same D, E, D, E must be half of AC must be half of AC that is what it means so if sorry it's always remember to add this line segment so if this if B and D E D E is the midpoint of A B and C B definitely definitely okay the size or the length, the length of this point from this point to this point must be twice of this. Okay? Or it will be half of this. So this is half of this line is half of this line. Or you can say it's twice the half of the line. Okay, so let's make an example. Let me clean this and make an example from this. Alright, here is another example. We are we are told that in this triangle ABC, triangle A, B, C that line segment ED, ED, and EF, EF are mid segments in this triangle. And that asks us to find each measure. So what are they trying to say? They say that ED, okay, uh, is a mid segment, ED and EF are mid segments of this triangle. So we're asked to find the measure of probably this this side and this side of the triangle. So let's see um, how it goes. So the first thing we need to note is that ED, okay, is half of what? AC. Just what we did before, mid-segment theorem. So this is going to be ED will be half of a C. So here we have E D. E D will now be E D will now be half of twelve multiplied by twelve. So E D will be equal to six. So this is six, right? We are now told that we should also find what um, B C. So B C. So it will now be what EF will now be what half of BC. So from this we have um, EF. Sorry, EF will be half of BC. And of course, they told us that EF here is six. Is six over one over two BC. 
So of course you know what to do. You used to you multiply six by two, so it's gonna be twelve will now be equal to B to C. So here, let's put it this way. So this left of this side it's also what twelve. So you can see how we applied how we used mid segment theorem to find the side of the other unknown um, side.